Las Vegas can be a 24-hour party, and you would think after a Friday and Saturday night that people would be ready for a little rehab. Well, they are, but not quite in the way that you're thinking. They've been working out all winter long so that they can come to rehab and show off their rehab bodies. So I don't care about going out the rest of the weekend. I want to be here for this. Why is that? Because there's beautiful people all over the place, beautiful girls, everyone's in shape. It's like a modeling convention. Welcome to Rehab Vegas Style. Hey guys, we're here with Jack LaFleur, the guy in charge of putting this Sunday party on at, here at Rehab. Hi yeah. Jack. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm tired. <laughs> And we're not even halfway through the season. That's right. It's yeah. the first hour yet. Yeah, exactly. It's tell crazy. us about rehab. Tell us who's the brainchild behind it. And well, the the history, the the brief history of rehab is it's uh, just entered into its fourth season here at the Hard Rock Pool. And when we first started out, it was going to be this small, relaxing day that kind of reminded people of Ibiza over in Spain in the summer. But it really kind of went awry, and things went way wrong, and we couldn't be happier. So. <laughs> Um, it's turned into this incredible party that was created by Chad Palace, my partner in crime here at the Hard Rock. And uh, Chad created it and called me up and asked me if I'd be interested in running it. And uh, yeah, when we first started, we were thinking we'd be happy with four, five, six hundred people. So now we do about 3,000 people every Sunday. 3,000 people, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, who all comes out here? Everyone, including God himself. I've seen him a few times hanging out. Yeah. Um, no, we get locals, we get tons of out-of-towners. It's something that uh, rehab has the benefit of being kind of the only party of its type, where when you have a nightclub, even as beautiful as, as a nightclub may be, it's one of many. But rehab is really the only thing that's like this. And so we're thankful for that. And we know that many people are kind of working on creating their own rehab-style parties. And we wish them the best of luck, but we're, we're thrilled with the um, ongoing success that we're experiencing here. So. Well, this is a place everyone has to check out when they're yeah. here. What is this right here? I don't know. Let's call this um, Derelict Row. I uh, like that. Yeah, no, this is um, it's just a nice place where people can come behind the music. They can relax, have conversations. You know, maybe they came here, they didn't know they were coming, they hadn't made a reservation, or they weren't a guest of the hotel, and they didn't have the ability to get, uh, you know, a chaise lounge or something like, something like that. So. Um, it's just a great place, the Lazy River. They just hang out and enjoy the water, get drinks. It's great. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, let's take a walk and check out rehab. <laughs> okay, so right here behind us, or to my left, this is uh, what we call Bikini Beach. And what we try to do is embrace our local um, gentlemen's club industry. And so each week we rotate through and we bring in a different gentlemen's club and we give them a bed on the beach and a couple of bottles to enjoy and on the sun. And, so it's a place for the people in town, in the industry, to come and relax on Sunday. Right, right. So today we've got Seamless in here. Opening day we had um, Spearman Rhino. So we bring in the different clubs, that uh, in the, the different gentlemen's clubs, and we rotate them through on a weekly basis. So. Okay, so behind me right now you'll see we've got our stage set up. And we've got another bar that we put in here. We did that in an attempt to try to create that much more of an environment out here at the pool. And so Friday nights, we've, we've begun an event called Friday Night Live, and we bring bands out here to perform. So we've had Jet, the Donnas, LL Cool J, a number of different performers all throughout the summer on Friday nights. And then next to that, you'll see Cabana 19, which is maybe the most sought after cabana in the entire rehab setup. And that one there, it's just, that's where people with tons of money come and they love to have people see them spend their money, so. That's the ultra VIP cabana. Yeah, exactly. It's right in the mix. It's where everybody sees who's that guy. And so, you know, Hi. typically on uh, on weekends, we'll have people spend as much as fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 there. So, pretty impressive. All right, so right now we're up in uh, the... Cabana Rows 20s, these are, we have them numbered of course consecutively so that unorganized people like myself can, uh, sorry I'm really distracted, there's a guy down there in really tight bikini shorts and it's really bothersome. I bet that never happens here. Yeah right, people actually, it's great, they look for the humor out here which is nice, we get lots of characters that help break up the monotony of like these rocked up guys wearing board shorts, so when guys come out here with comedy, it, 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 it's refreshing, so. Anyway, so these are the 20s and um, usually we'll put groups of 10 to 15 people per cabana here and then it curls out to the 30s down there where a lot of big spenders go and a lot of regulars go down there as well. So you know, we've got groups like the Dirty South who have been to all but I think four or five total rehabs in the last three and a half years. So 
pretty impressive, yeah. So it's good stuff. So what do people do? Uh, I mean, when they get a cabana, yep. what kind of a VIP services are they? It's typically like nightclubs. It's bottle service. Um, however, we don't place a bottle minimum. Where many nightclubs will say, you know, it's a bottle for three people. What we do is a revenue minimum. So, you know, we we let it people decide how they want to spend their money. So. They can spend it on food, they can spend it on drinks, they can spend it on bottles. Um, and so whatever they're not able to spend in consumption, then we just do a flat charge on top of it. So it makes it easier for them. Because the last thing we want to do is send people away and, you know, when they've only been able, if there's eight people, but it's a really in-demand weekend, it might be a 12 bottle minimum. So what's eight people going to do with 12 bottles? So. So that's how we came up with the kind of just a revenue minimum rather than bottles. So That makes sense. Yeah. What's the best thing about working here? Um, I guess now that it's um, that it keeps me so incredibly busy. There's never a chance to be bored, or um, you know, I, I, I'm there, I'm never without something to do. And you know, with all the events that we do out here, we have a venue which is like no other venue in town. And so we're really excited about redesigning for next season. We're going to have a whole different look out here, which is going to be great. We're going to be adding that much more VIP space. So. It's really going to be phenomenal. So, I mean, it's already, in my estimation, the best party in town, and we're going to make it that much better next year. Guys, we're here with Floyd Mayweather, who is here at rehab enjoying himself. And you just had a great fight. Congratulations on your win. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. It's great to, you know, be in Las Vegas. You know, I live in Las Vegas. Rehab is, you know, unbelievable. Unbelievable. What else can I say? Um, having fun, enjoying myself. Vegas is the place to be. Absolutely, and especially here at rehab on Sundays, right? Oh man, unreal. You want to come drink, swim, party, get a cabana, enjoy life. Come to Las Vegas, come to rehab. It's the best place in the world on Sunday. Absolutely. So when's your next fight? When can we see you next? Well, I, I'm in rehab. Of course, like I got to say, I probably need to go to rehab. Because <laughs> everybody keeps trying to get me to come back to the boxing ring. Because, you know, of course I'm retired after you know, after beating the, uh, the legend Oscar De La Hoy. Um, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what the future holds of Floyd Mayweather, but I got... Uh, some movie deals on the table, uh, I don't know, so many different things, uh, sports and entertainment. So, you know, I feel great. I feel good. My camp is happy. I'm happy, man. Life is just unreal. Well, we're looking forward to seeing all the things to come <laughs> for you. Well, you know, I just want to thank God, you know, say, you know, say peace and love to everybody out there that supported Floyd Mayweather. Thank you. We want you to award. Our website is unreal. Okay. Is that my, the Filthy Rich one? Filthy Rich Records. Filthy Rich You know how you spell phone? Yep. We spell our Filthy Rich like that. P-H-I-L-T-H-Y Rich Records. That's really rich. <laughs> it's crazy though. Okay, we're going to check it out. FilthyRich.com. Record, records.com. Records. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where he is. I didn't know he said that much though. Yeah, he came through. He bought buses. Everything, right? We got to check the gears today. Hey, JJ, how are you? How are you doing? Good. What's good? JJ is with the Palms. Tell us what you do there, because I know you are the man about town. I am the Malouse assistant, and then I just uh, do day to day shit. Fantastic. So, I know you're here at rehab on Sundays. This is a regular spot for you? Uh, no, it is. Jack LaFleur does a great job. He's a very, 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 very hard worker. I'm over here just watching Jack. <laughs> and some of the ladies, too, right? No, there's nothing but girls. I'm looking at it. It's crazy. This is crazy. It's hot, though. It's hot. It's summertime here, absolutely. You can jump in the pool. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm about to get in right now. I see, I see a blonde. I'm about to go in right now. Okay, we better let you go. Well, Jack, thanks for the tour of your rehab Sunday parties. Absolutely. Well, it's our rehab. It's, it's Las Vegas's, but more importantly, it's the Hard Rock's rehab. I, I wish I could say it were mine. I'd be a rich man. I'd be at home watching it on like some webcam or something, but I work to make it more successful every week, as do many of us. But anyway, thank you for coming by, and it looks like i got a lot of work to tend to. All right, well, let's go uh, have a little rehab. Absolutely, thank you. We're here with Anthony at the Hard Rock, who I hear is the best bartender here and the most popular <laughs> guy in this place. How long have you been working here? I've been at the Hard Rock for almost three years now. Okay, great. Where do you come from? Where'd you come uh, originally, I'm New York. Yeah, Rochester, New York. I've worked rehab the last three years. It's uh, it's grown into something more than a party, I think. It's more of an experience, and that's what I tell people that have never been here, is that it's just something you need to come and experience. Uh, granted, I guess you could still call it a party, but it's just it's unlike anything going on right now, anywhere. It really is. In the city, and I mean, in the country, really. That's so. true. There's nothing else like, like this out there Not anywhere. right now. Not right now. What's the craziest thing that you've seen out here? 
I don't know if I can talk about that. I like my job. <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm gonna go uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. When I say cuatro. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. You're, You're watching, watching Web 2.0 television. Las Vegas, you don't screw it up. This is our big chance. It's fine. Um, one, two, one, two, three. You're, You're watching, watching Web 2.0 television. One, two, here we go. You're okay. watching. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Yeah, you're watching Web 2.0 television, Las Vegas. Period to the end. Here we go. One, two, three. You're watching Web 2.0. Dude, here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You're watching Web 2.0 television in Las Vegas. Woo!